Hi, I'm Jake, and we're here at the Convention Center in downtown Washington, D.C., and we're going to check out the USA Science and Engineering Festival. spaceships and I thought that was really cool so I did an interview on um, one of the guys who was running that booth. I made a small 3D printer out of school but this is really big. Can you tell me what like what some of the things you use it? Yeah so so what we did when we made this printer is we wanted to ask the question what happens when you take that small capability the smaller 3D printer and scale it up to bigger sizes. So on the polymer side there's applications where you need to make a mold or a tool. And so this enables us to do that in an affordable way, a much faster and more affordable way than before. Cool. One of the first things I did when I got there was head right over to the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning Jet Simulator. It, was real, it looked really cool. When, I, when it was finally my turn, there was someone guiding me through the whole Process. They teach me how to do like a barrel roll. It was really fun. I even got to shoot down an enemy plane. It was awesome. I'm here at the snack on booth and they have a race car. There's also this huge, I mean like huge Canucks exhibit. It had a roller coaster, and there was even this humongous Ferris wheel. It was even taller than I was. So I interviewed a person at that booth too. Do you know how many pieces that Ferris wheel over there has? That Ferris wheel is approximately 8,500 pieces. And do you know how much it costs to build that Ferris wheel? We sell that Ferris wheel for $500 online. And it takes about eight hours to build. Cool. We built a 3D printer at our school and you helped us with some of the parts. So thank you for that. And um, I want to know about your 3D printer. Like okay. maybe how tall it prints. Okay. Like, and what's the tallest print you've made? Sure. So our printer will print 12 by 12 by 10. So this box here was actually printed on that machine. So the tallest it'll go is about 10 inches. That's pretty tall. That is pretty tall, huh? Hi, this is Shane. He's um, in the United States Naval Academy. And he's, um, I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Okay. Can you tell me how this cool little arm, arm works? Yes, no problem. Okay, so this right here is our robotic arm. It uses four different gears, okay, four different motors, shafts, and a, ser and a servo. This is our control box. And all it does is it's four different motors moving a shaft that move these actuators up, down, left, and right, forward, and back. So I'll show you that this one right here moves the arm left, moves the arm right. I can move it up if I want to. I can move it down. And then the claw is really cool. It's got press two buttons at the same time. That closes it, and that opens it. And this is just a simple example of how robotics can do really neat stuff just using a simple gear, the rotation of a shaft, and uh, a little bit of electricity and some science. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. One of the reasons why I wanted to do Natasha is because she likes to make really cool stuff. 
And she had blue hair. What kinds of things do you like to make? I like to make costume pieces that I can wear. I 3D printed my ears here. I also 3D printed my trophy here. This is from a video game. So I wanted to bring the video game trophy into real life and I 3D printed this. Thank you. The first day I was there, I listened to a talk by Alvin Drew. He's an astronaut that went up to space on a space shuttle to fit one of the last pieces of the space station into it. When I caught up with him later, I asked him a quick question. What's your favorite part of being in space? My favorite part of being in space is the rocket ride up there, quite honestly. I know we got, you know, it's only eight and a half minutes, uh, but it sure is fun. Thank you. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. What got you into making printers in the first place? So I honestly just love to make things. So I, when I thought about what do I need to make something, I thought, well, I'll start collecting tools and I'll put them in my garage. And this, these printers that I started to read about, they were like the ultimate tool because you can make pretty much anything you want. You can even make other tools. So. I saw him on Make Magazine and uh, saw Bree Pettis, the MakerBot guy on Make Magazine and was inspired to start a company making kits for kids and families. I wish it was twice as long. Yeah, that would be awesome. And if you like this, then you can uh, comment. I think you should come and see it next year. It was amazing. <laughs>